portfolio cardboard which I have already divided into top sections because we have 12 colors of photo. <coughs> so we are here so we need to make a border around it huh? okay so I have taken a smaller piece of cardboard which I'm also gonna cut into smaller thinner pieces and use my hot glue so I could stick it around yeah oh, oh my god oh my god I was almost gonna do a mistake we didn't do it thank god So yeah, what do you know? We're gonna do it on the four sides with the four pieces. So there's nothing to explain here. So I'm gonna go shut up real quick. cut down the excess piece on this side so it's nice and clean when I clean it up take it away so we could actually take some care with this iraqi dust now here it is we have got this two little small piece um thin piece of cardboard which I'm gonna use to make rows between the um the box so there will be some you know division between them there will be three rows for me so I'm doing two pieces now I'm taking even smaller cardboard pieces and put them between so there is some vertical um what are they called columns columns so there will be columns I'm gonna you know stick them each of them one by one and yeah I'm gonna see you later after it is done um yeah I was trying to do the magic yeah there you go <laughs> I'm so weird. Here it is. Now we're gonna make the little flap the cover. So I'm taking a similar piece like the box and then I'm using another piece of cardboard as the border. There it is. Now I'm going oh yeah, I'm gonna take the cardstock and then you know use some tape and use so you could like you know open or close it i'm not gonna make it that complicated and do it really easily there we go so easy we can open and close it i'm also gonna use on the tape from the inside and also going to cut between the little you know boxes so you can you know push that inside yeah i don't know how to explain anything right now so here we go i've taken another piece of cardboard here so i could stick it um each beside the you know the cover that flap thingy and that's a really good tip do not make your flap thingy before just you know make the main part and then stick on the sides from whatever so that will be easy to make the measurements now everything's terrible it turned out really nice now it's time to do a really hard part now we have to take some watercolors in here and i'm gonna put some watercolors in here and pump it out we are a little nervous but here goes nothing uh, oh my god i'm really nervous i don't know why nobody's nervous right now yeah so there you go that's a piece of shit <laughs> okay <laughs> Now I'm gonna use a little tool from somewhere and then just you know spread it out uh, so it, it so it's even. Mm, oh. Okay, so we're done with the brown. So there we go. Uh, da, 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 mm, da, da, da. There we go. So the white kind of looks ratchet because I was out of pain while doing it. So yeah. There we go, we are done with it, now it's time to decorate. it. Damn, do you like it? We're gonna do it one more time, one more time. Oh yes, there we go. I have add some white, um, really loud orange um, cardstock paper and use some washi tape. And there we go, I've covered those dots because I really hated it. And then I'm gonna use my, um, my favorite gold paint pen and write watercolors. And yeah, I know it's not in frame, but don't mind me. There we go. You'll see a narcissistic signature at the back, and there we go. We are done with it, my friends. Now, again, as you can see, there's a drastic difference. What I did before, I actually changed the whole thing. 
gave this box a new makeover because I really hated that orange but yeah everything looks okay so now my friends it's now to actually test it I actually also like you know figured out that we need a mini brush though yeah I'm not gonna use this forever this is just for like look and show and um, yeah that's all it's for so you guys we got a mini pot of water mini page mini brush mini watercolor set and we're about to test this out but yeah so there we go I'm gonna do this little you know sunset thing with this watercolor as you know like you know doing like sunsets and scenery to with like watercolor is so fun like i personally love doing it like whenever i'm doing watercolor i would go to the more realistic things like more or less yeah like doing a little still life or like you know a little you know the scenery i'm doing like to work with the sky and the colors of the sky is just like yes i love doing it so much but yeah to be honest yeah it's kind of necessary for this testing of this watercolor because i didn't go all by myself make a whole new formulated watercolor yeah it's just like i use a real watercolor from a real brand that i always use but you know what i thought that i could do it because it would remain a little bit undone if i didn't do it so yeah after i have done my sky i'm gonna do the ground and i'm, I'm gonna see you later when i'm done with the painting so hey yo it's done to be honest this is not my favorite of my drawing the thing is is that you know tree thing by this side yeah it's it's really annoying but do you know i made another one and this one turned out really good i don't know what but if it's the brush it's working really good then i don't know if it's just me really good with it but yeah my drawings turned out good i would recommend you to try this because yeah it turned out pretty good and yeah that's all for today i'm gonna see you in my next video goodbye